What's up, YouTube? Tony Soros Rex here. What I've got for you today is another taste test video. As you can tell from the title, I've called it Heat Flash, Hot Flash, something like that. <laughs> something regarding heat, because your boy is probably about to torture myself. I don't know why I'm doing this, either because it's fun and I like to see your reactions to my reactions to hot things, or it's because I'm stupid because I have acid reflux and this is probably going to pay me back in dividends later both in my acid reflux and when I use the bathroom. <laughs> but um, we've got quite a few things. My plan is to try all of these out and see which one I actually think is the hottest. We've got flaming Hot Funyums. Funyums? I don't know why I said yums. Whatever. I used to love Funyuns back in the day when I was a teenager in high school. I would always pick them up, so we got those. I was actually surprised I had flaming Hot version of those. We've also got... Hot buffalo uh, popcorn. There we go. So that's on there. I've been taking some sinus meds, so hopefully my congestion's a little bit better and I can smell a little bit better. We've got. I think everything I got except for one thing is all list is all labeled as flame and hot. Um, the homie schizo the clown from Twitter recommended takis or takis. I looked everywhere for them at Walmart because I looked online and they said they were at Walmart. But unfortunately, my Walmart does not have them. So if I ever find them, I'll get them. So hopefully these stuff, these things will make up for that. We've got Flamin' Hot Fritos. We've also got... This is also from Fritos. What is Flamin' Hot Snack Mix. I can see it's got flaming hot Doritos, flaming hot Cheetos, Sun Chips. I don't know if they're flaming hot or not. And rolled gold pretzels. I'm not sure if everything in this is hot or if it's just a few things. Yeah, I guess the pretzels are normal, but the Cheetos, the Sun Chips, and the Doritos are all definitely going to be spicy. The Sun Chips look like they say they're picante flavored. Yeah, you can see on the back. Sun Chips, Baja Picante, Cheetos Flamin' Hot, Doritos Salsa Flavored. I feel like I've had the Salsa Flavored Doritos. Whatever. And another Doritos. These ones I'm really scared about, judging from the picture. Uh, Doritos Dynamita. Uh, looks like Chili Lime. Chili Limon. They're rolled to explode with flavor. The perfect detonation of spicy chili with a twist of lime. Uh, yeah, your boy's going to be paid back later. But I've also got a couple of drinks here to go with it. Um, that I've never tried before. I've got this watermelon water. Cold pressure juice watermelon water blend. Hopefully that will help. It has looks like it's got some good things in it. Electrolytes, which I definitely need because I'm really thirsty for being sick. I've also got these two pure leaf tea, organic teas. I've got black tea with a hint of Sicilian lemon and honeysuckle. And I've also got, <laughs> your boy stocked up on drinks. I was trying to prepare myself. Uh, black tea with a hint of wild berry and sage. So I'll be trying those throughout this video as well. And then... There's actually a lot of pit stuff I picked up today. I picked up two other things that I currently have to leave the office to go get. So they'll be added in at the end as a little bonus. But I also got these old candies. I've never tried this before. My wife said she used to have it when she was a kid and it was good. So she told me to try it. It is a uh, strawberry rock candy. It kind of looks like little crystals. So I'll be trying that out. Then I got this uh, buried treasure gummies. It's uh, gummies with a toy treasure in it. I don't know. It was only like a dollar, so I picked that up. And then I picked up these gummies as well, Looked at which actually fit into a lot of what I've been doing lately. As you know, I've been doing a lot of Lego videos. So I have these gummy blops. Blops? <laughs> I really just say blops. Gummy blocks um, where you can kind of build them up, I guess, using your imagination like Legos. So I found that was interesting. I probably, I don't know if I'll actually try to build anything or not in the video. Depends on how long the video goes with the hot stuff. But uh, let's uh, shake this watermelon drink up. I'm actually going to take a sip of this before I do the hot stuff just because I'm really thirsty. And I'm going to smell it. it. Smells like watermelon. Kind of cool.
It's a little weird. It tastes like watermelon, but it's not overly strong. It does taste like water. Like, it tastes like they just squeeze the actual watermelon juice in there. So that's interesting. Um, I guess we'll start Flaming Hot Funyuns. Now, don't yell at me if I don't eat, like, a whole bunch of these hot things because, like I said, the heartburn's going to be bad enough. Now, I did, I did take my acid reflux pill today, so maybe I'll be all right, but... I don't think... These just smell like normal Funyuns. They don't smell... They may not smell like they're hot, but they definitely look like they're hot. <laughs> Look at that crap, man. It's bright red. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. If I just sit here and like keep staring at it, then I'm never gonna talk myself into it. So here we go. Um, it's there. Crispy texture and shape of an onion ring with a sizzle that would set your mouth on fire. I think you'd have to go through a couple. It's definitely there. I can feel the burn. Not as scary as I originally thought it was going to be because of how red these are. But, I mean, I mean, look at that. The thing's about as red as a dang blister, man. That is good, though. Okay, I need to drink now, because that, that's definitely hot. Not on the level of, like, your eyes start tearing up and your nose start running hot just yet. But definitely pretty spicy. Um, Alright, I guess we'll try out these Fritos. My tongue is still burning, so I imagine... I guess this might be a little biased because by the end of the video, I'll have all these hot things in my mouth. My mouth will already be burning, so whatever the last item is, it's probably going to be the hottest to me. <laughs> Which is why I tried to do these drinks. Again, this stuff doesn't smell hot. When your taste buds want to feel the burn, a regular chip just isn't going to cut it. You need something that'll reach out and bite you back. Oh, great! <laughs> this sounds lovely! <laughs> uh, flaming hot corn chips combined with the classic corn taste with a hearty all-American fiery crunch right out of the bag baked into a Frito's chili pie or with your favorite dip. Frito's chili pie? That sounds interesting. Yeah, it doesn't smell hot. Much like the other one. Very red texture wise. This one I feel like it, this is a bad idea. This one I feel like you need a couple at one time because they're so small. Well, this is going to be painful. I'm <laughs> Um. These aren't that hot, to be honest. No. This is actually, like, a very slight burn. So, actually, my my thought of everything getting hotter and hotter was not the case with these. I actually think the Funyuns were a little bit hotter than those. There is a little burn there. But I thought like you'd probably have to eat, like... What's the serving size? Let me see what the serving size is. Uh, 28 chips. <laughs> okay, I feel like the one serving of 28 chips, then you'd probably feel the burn. That is a heck of a serving size, and it says there's nine servings in that. Alright, let's go for... Okay, I am starting to feel the burn in my throat. 
We'll go with these hot buffalo popcorn. We're going to take another swig of this. I don't want the previous burn to affect the new burn. That's the issue I'm having. This popcorn doesn't even look hot. Woo! It smells like it smells like buffalo wings though. Or buffalo sauce, whatever you want to call it. I guess what for popcorn you kinda gotta I don't wanna get too much of a handful because I don't want to make a mess. But uh I don't know how good you can see that. Is that much? It doesn't look covered. It almost looks like the white cheddar popcorn. There's a little bit of orange, which I assume is like the buffalo. Oh, yeah, that's buffalo. Huh. That is definitely buffalo. And that is spicier than both the... Maybe not the Funyuns, but definitely spicier than the Fritos. It's, like, good, though. Like, I wouldn't think that would be a good combination. That definitely has a kick to it. Like... Buffalo sauce, sometimes it can be finicky where it will have, like, a major kick and then sometimes it's not as spicy, but that's one of the spicier buffalo sauces that I've tried. So weird, buffalo sauce on popcorn. Like, the combination just does not sound good at all, but it actually is. At least it is to me. Uh, calm down down there, tummy buddy. We'll get through this together. We'll go with these Frito Lay Munchies. The uh, snack mix. Now, I guess the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to pull out a piece of. to guarantee that I actually get something of each in here. That is a tiny little Dorito. Look at this. Si That's the tiniest Dorito I've ever seen. I was not. And the Sun Chip, too. Why are they so little? They're like little babies. Maybe that's because they pack a lot of punch. Even the Cheetos little. <laughs> Everything is so tiny. Well, then the only thing in here that's normal size is the dang pretzel. <laughs> Where's this, like, hot mix baby edition? <laughs> well, we got one of each in there, so... We'll throw them all together like that as best you can see not too bad okay so we had the first handful together and now I can't find any more tiny Doritos, man. What the heck? It's like a whole bag of Sun Chips. This one's even smaller than the last one. All right, I'm going to try each of these individually. Uh, except for the pretzel, because the pretzel doesn't have anything hot on it. It's just a normal pretzel. I'm going to try two of these Sun Chips at the same time. And two of the Doritos, and then two of the Cheetos. Sun chips, you can feel a little bit of a hot tingle. Not too bad. Uh, Doritos salsa flavored. Those aren't that bad either. I mean, they're so small. Like, I feel like if they were bigger, they probably would be worse. I feel like these Cheetos are probably the hottest. You can see how red they are.
Yeah, the Cheetos are definitely the hottest in the bag itself. But, honestly, I think so far the Funyuns and the popcorn have been the spiciest of everything. But we haven't got to these yet. So, okay, I just got a little bit of burn from the Cheetos. I think if I would have found bags of those individually instead of as a snack mix, they would have been spicier. Because they wouldn't have been so tiny. So let's go ahead and try out the final hot item. Okay, the hot items are catching up to me now because my nose is actually running a little bit. <laughs> These look like little taquitos, if you know it. I think that's how you pronounce them. You can buy them like frozen ones and you heat them up in the oven. That's what these look like. They also almost look like cigarettes. <laughs> that's what they remind me of. Oh, that one hurt my tooth. They're like hard as a rock. Um, there's a reason they're called dynamite. Looks like a stick of dynamite. And I'm feeling the burn on these. Okay, these are definitely the hottest of everything that I just tried. Woo-wee! Yeah, no, I just gulped that down. Those burn. <laughs> they burn bad. Ew, I see my lips are all red. I should have brought a napkin in here. Um, yeah, I can't do another one of those. I'm sorry. Those are way hot, way hot. I'm not, I don't seem to have a very high tolerance for heat anyway. So some of you that like love spicy stuff, that's probably not even that bad, but it is to me. What is this one? Wild Blackberry and Sage. These. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. My fingers. My fingers look disgusting, man. I'm going to have to start buying moist towelettes. Or something to clean my hands off after I get stuff. Slotty. Slotty source, be the judge. <sighs> I think I just melted Slotty Saurus's fur a little bit. Slotty's telling, trying to tell me something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. These are definitely the hottest ones. The Doritos Dynamite for sure. After that would be... The Funyuns would be the second hottest to me. Then I would have to go with the hot buffalo. Popcorn. I realize this is like a top five right now. The uh, Munchy Snack Mix would be number four. And oddly enough, the Flaming Hot Fritos are actually... The least hot, in my opinion. But yeah, those uh, dynamite, whatever Doritos, those are brutal. I am still feeling the burn and the after effects already gurgling in my stomach. <laughs> Burns going in, and later it's probably going to burn going out. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to mess around with these gummies. I want to see, one, they might take away some of the kick from that Dynamite Fritos. And two, oh my goodness, they're so cool. They look just like little Lego blocks. There's a little green one. I can't really, 
Oh my goodness, I'm trying not to make a mess. They got a little twofer with the blue. And we got a twofer for the green. And then we got one of the squares. And they even have like, yeah, right there, you can see the little grooves in it. For in case you wanted to actually build something. I don't know what the heck I would build. My problem is I need instructions. I can't just use my imagination. <laughs> my imagination is not what it used to be. They give you quite a few little pieces in here, though. There's a, I don't know, a partially colorblind. I think that's blue or purple. It's mostly green, red, yellow. It seems like that's what we got for the most part. Still kind of cool. I don't know. I'm just going to eat them. I'm not going to build anything. Mostly because I wouldn't know where to begin. They're good. It definitely tastes pretty good. I think this thing is just gummies too. But it's like buried treasure. Well, I'm not going to eat them all at once. So I'm going to put them back in a little bag. That is pretty cool though. That would be fun for like a little kid. That wants to play while they eat. You know Parents always tell their children, don't play with your food. Well, here's an excuse to actually play with your food. <laughs> Do the exact opposite. I have no idea how to open this one. It says collect all the pirate bears. So I guess I'm getting a pirate bear of some sort. Wow, this is going to be a pain. This part of the video might be cut. As you can see, I went to peel part of it off to break it, and just a small piece came off. Listen here, I just want to get to the treasure. Please. If you don't give me the treasure, I'm getting the scissors. That's all I'm going to say. My goodness. What the heck? Okay, so there's the gummies. I'm not even going to open these. My nose is running. Little mini uh, gummy bears in a separate package. You can still see the disgusting seasoning on my finger. So we'll see if we can open this little toy figurine collectible that came with it. Oh yeah, it's like a little bear that you put together. Uh, here's a little hat. A little pirate hat. Come on. You actually put it together yourself, I guess. Because here's a little, uh, little bear body. It's got a little skull and crossbones on it. This doesn't really look like a bear head, but whatever. That's probably because of the, uh, the hat that goes on it. That's definitely not a bear, <laughs> but it's still kind of cute. So there's the full little toy figure that came with that one. So I guess there must be more than one because it says to collect them all. Oh, yeah, here's a little thing in here that says, oh, they actually have names. So I got Marvin. Mar what the heck pirate name is Marvin? <laughs> Never in my life have I heard of a pirate named Marvin. But that's who I got, apparently. Marvin the Pirate. There's also Kingsley, Pembroke, Seesaw, Drake. Drake, really? Beebeard, Martina, Marco, Groupie. You got a toy pirate named Groupie? That seems a little... We're not even going to get into it. Fleetwood, Starboard, and Sherman. I don't know. Wow, there's even more. Pirate Bear Friends. Willow, Tiny, Flash, Clawsome. Daphne, Flint, Trunk, Plank, and Shakespeare. <laughs> There's a little picture of all of them you can collect. 
You can see what they would have looked like. And then the little friends are on the back. I guess most of those are pretty rare as well. My nose is really stuffy now from all that hot stuff. So I'm going to quickly try out this uh, rock candy. And then I'm going to end this clip of the video. Run out and grab the other thing I was going to try last. Try that. And then we will call it a day. Doesn't smell like anything really. Okay. Clearly the idea is do not try and bite it because I about just chipped my tooth. Don't bite. Yeah, I know that, Rao. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> my wife was just telling me don't bite it, but I realized that after I tried. It's basically I need a spoon. <laughs> it's basically like a kind of like a popsicle or not a popsicle. Oh my goodness, like a lollipop. <laughs> That's basically what that was. My wife was kind enough to just bring me the bonus item so I didn't have to end the uh, the video here. So we'll go ahead and do that. This one, shout out to Clown Media. Or is it Clown Productions? I'm sorry, Clown. Spelled with a K. My buddy on YouTube. Um, I know you love peanut butter, Clown. So this one, I saw this stuff and I thought of you. If you watch this video. We've got uh, Jif. Peanut butter, but it is cinnamon. I saw interesting flavored peanut butter, so I thought I would try it out. And the other one is Peanut Butter and Co. since 1998. It is Dark Chocolatey Dreams. So we got Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter and a Cinnamon Peanut Butter. And that's going to be the last thing I try out on these videos. I also love peanut butter, but I've never tried anything other than just regular peanut butter. I don't think I've ever tried any... Flavored peanut butters like this. Definitely smells like chocolate. So we're going to try the chocolate one first. We're just going to do about that much. It kind of looks like brownie batter almost. But you're going to make brownie mix out of it. Mmm. Usually, I'd be more of a fan if it was a milk chocolate than dark chocolate. That's actually pretty good, though. It's, uh... Yeah, you definitely taste the peanut butter. And the mixture of the chocolate. It's actually a pretty good combination. Kind of like if they... I guess it would be kind of like if they had a dark chocolate Reese's peanut butter cup. Only what's weird to me is Reese's peanut butter always tastes different than regular peanut butter. It never has, like, the same taste to it. Now, let's see about this one, because cinnamon feels like that'd be a hard thing to nail for a peanut butter. But it might actually be really good, so. That smells phenomenal. <laughs> It smells really sweet. Just what we need after all that heat. I can't believe that I just rhymed that. That was not intentional. There we go. So this is the cinnamon peanut butter. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm having another one of that. That is good. That is really, really good. You get the peanut butter. But then the cinnamon adds that extra layer of sweetness to it. Almost like cinnamon sugar. And I'm the kind of person that likes cinnamon sugar toast. That's kind of what that reminds me of. So it'd probably be good for like a breakfast. I just realized we tried one of the two other teas. But we didn't try the uh, Sicilian lemon and honeysuckle yet. I have no idea how long this video is. But I feel like it's probably a long one. So I'm going to go ahead and try this real quick. Very faint. With the uh, honeysuckle. 
Yeah, I think the lemon kind of overwhelms the honeysuckle a little bit. But still not bad. I'll definitely drink that whole thing. But of the two, I think the blackberry and sage, I like a little bit better. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I feel like there was a lot of stuff we tried on there. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and once you subscribe, hit the notification bell and hit all, so that way you're notified every time I release a new video. And I will catch you all in the next video. But until then, stay Rexy, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, what am I doing? I don't hit L. I actually have to hit stop recording. <laughs>